Yeah, so I haven't done a YouTube video for a while. I'm afraid I injured my back and was on crutches and I took a good month or two to get over this. And so I haven't really got into the videos much or anything. There was no uh, hands-on with anything for a while. Um, but I'm glad it's over and I'm walking again. So here we go. I want to make this way in a, into a, a trailer for some kind. So I think I'm cutting this box in half and see what I can do with it. I'll leave the top hole for the time being. It does fold up. It's top like this. So I may make it some kind of a storage box. But I, I really don't have an idea of what I'm going to build here yet. I'm just going to test this out. And it doesn't work out to get another tin box. But at least, you know, I'll cut it in half and we'll see where we're going. Yeah, so I just take a scissors, fairly strong one, and just cut my tin. It can be tricky sometimes. Especially when you get up there, I might have to use the tin cutters at the top. Other side. Oh, there we go, get back on track here. Yeah, I'm not going to get to that top piece without a Dremel or something. I have a little Dremel and cut through here maybe, these tabs. Maybe run it along the other way. So this is the one half I've done. I haven't filed it yet, so it's sharp. You should file it. Now, I've taken these two edges off back to here, where I think it's about right. And I've made two little, like made it so it's slotted on. So now I can actually have a look now, like this. Mind your fingers though, because these are very sharp at the moment. And you push them together till these two sides come up to be close together, like that. And that's basically what shape I have at the moment. And I still have this, which I can actually add on here afterwards as the as a lid if I want. Not too sure what I'm doing with that yet. I'm just doing this first. So I quite like this and I'm going to have to put two wheels back here and make it kind of a clip-on truck. So that's where I'm at. Don't know what I'm going to do next to figure it out. So now see I've slotted these two sides here and took off the rims. So when this comes down in here and in here like this, oops, there, the rims come together like that, right? As you can see, they're falling together slowly, right? So I can solder that later on. I still have to straighten this bottom piece up. It's a little messy. <clears throat> and as you can see in the interior, I have these a little bit more closer to the halfway line, which I was trying to get. I'm still a little bit off. But inside it looks a little crooked. I can either put a plate in there or, or cut that exactly in the halfway line. We'll see. Yeah, so two halves. They're, on the bottom it's like this at the moment. I might leave that. I mean, it's okay. And then inside it's more in the half area with um, an extra set of wheels here. It's going to look like a truck, that. And you know, so we're getting there. Took me a while to cut it out a little bit and get it cleaned and get it the right sizes. So anyways, there we go. All I got to do is solder some pieces together and we'll start holding together to put, you know, and then we can get a real feel for what I'm going to do with this. It's just a little bit of fun. Yeah, so I brushed a little bit of um, flux on the joint here. I'm going to press these together and put a little couple of tags on. I like cleaning my tip off of my gun. There we go, and now we're going to just try to press this together a little and see if we can get a little bit sticking here so that it actually stays together and we can see what we got first, right? I'm going to put a little bit more on here. There we go. Beginning to run already. You can see that. Put another one here. You want to keep it fairly smooth so you don't have to do much cleaning up afterwards. 
as you can see it's already beginning to stick together uh, put a little tab in there and I'll tab it more and we'll solder it and we'll see what we got so I've got it soldered roughly together and I'm holding it up with this here to make it about the same height as the wheels and that's what it's going to look like and I still have to make the top here but at least now it's together now I've got to solder the joints so no, there's no nobody can cut themselves or anything and clean it up so there we go there's the box there's other things to add like a hitch and all that yet but first things first so I've soldered it all around inside and out so now it's a strong box so here we are with the, the trailer truck I'm building I've taken the wheels off the back of the truck and put them back here to get the roughly the right height here so it'll be like this in the end most likely and I've these are just pushed through this box here I'll take them out there we go can you see that in here I put light in there there we go I put a bolt so that it catches into the trailer here like that <coughs> I made a tin box soldered it together and I wanted to go a little higher so I took an old electric box here and put it in a little electric piece box and made a hole straight through for the shaft and all you can do then all you have to do then is just put once I get this through one sec if you're still seeing that yep yeah. once you get that through I got all I gotta do is put a little tubing in here to decide how far out the wheels are gonna go you don't space them so it's time to spray it gray yeah, and see what we got I've cleaned it all up quite a bit soldered up here soldered up here and I've been trying to get the wheel height right but I'm quite pleased with that now so I'm gonna spray it gray trailer made for the um, truck and as you can see it's completed more or less I need two wheels here I'm going to look for them tomorrow but this video was more about making the um, tin box in the back <coughs> than it was about finishing the truck so I'm going to leave this video here because I do have you know a lot of things I have to get the wheels and I have to get the grill cleaned up and I might get some decals made up but that will be for another date and another video Thanks for watching.